everyone, my name is Elsa and today I'm doing the July unboxing of the Fairy Loot Box. So back in June, Fairy Loot was giving some really interesting hints about their July Fairy Loot Box and it was really intriguing me. I really wanted to get my hands on one and I did, so I'm so excited to unbox this. This is my first Fairy Loot subscription box and I have to say it's really heavy. It came all the way from the UK because that's where Fairy Loot is. I've already pre cut it. Um, I can open it. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's cute! It has a little quote on it. It says, Fairy tales are more than true, not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. By Neil Gaiman, Caroline. That is so cute, I like that. Oh, this is pretty. This is what it looks like inside. It tells you to share your fairy loot box. So, look out for my Instagram to see the pictures for that. But first off, it comes with this little card at the top. Maybe you could guess what the theme is? I'll let you know anyway. So the theme for this month's box is Pirates and Power. Ahoy! Spoilers ahead. I'm not going to read it because obviously this is the information card and I don't want to spoil myself with what's in the box. First off, I see all this glittery stuff. So that's going to be fun to pick up everywhere with a doll. <laughs> and I've already started to make a mess because it just tipped out. Whoops! Alright, let me just pile that to the side. So the first thing that I grabbed in this box is a bath bomb and it's by Geeky Clean and it's a handmade tropical fruit bath bomb. So, that's cool. Oh wow, it smells nice. Oh, oh yum. I so want to try this. Oh, it smells amazing. It's really sealed nicely. I'm so excited to try this. Mmm, I just love the smell of that. It smells so good. Okay, so next thing... Oh, let's get that off. The next thing I see in this box is a tote bag, I think? Yeah, it's a tote bag. And what's on it? Oh, it's a pirate ship! And it says, I ship it. Oh, that is so cute! <laughs> I love it! Oh, I'm getting some Once Upon a Time feels right here. I'm a total Captain Swan fan. And... I ship it, I ship it. I actually have a shirt that has captioned swan on it and it has a pirate ship with a swan underneath. So I really like this. I love pirates. This, this box is totally for me. I love pirates and sea voyages and anything like that. With the addition of power, yeah, this is this is definitely my box. Next thing I see here is a lip balm. And I don't know who it's by. It doesn't say who it's from. It just says pirate bounty. And it's a lip balm that has fairy loot on it, so maybe it's just an exclusive one to fairy loot. I don't know if you can see that. It says pirate bounty on it, and lip balm, and it says fairy loot. So that's something different. I like that. It's cute. Next thing I see here is, oh, it's a bookmark from behind the pages. I actually follow her on Instagram, and I've bought quite a few of her bookmarks, which you've probably seen if you follow me on Instagram. I have a lot of pictures with her bookmarks featured in it. But this one says currently reading. It's a black and white bookmark with a water type effect around the back of it. I think it would be pretty cool to colour it in. Maybe it's kind of the point of it. Maybe you're meant to colour it in. I'm not sure. But that came in the box as well. Next thing I see here is a little, oh, some purple stuff. A little pot figure. It's a little keychain pot figure. And it's a Game of Thrones one. And the one I got is Jon Snow. I love Game of Thrones. I was so torn from the season finale. I just, oh, the season finale this year, oh, I can't wait a whole year. I need, oh, it's so annoying to have to wait a year in between shows. It's killing me, that and once upon a time. Anyway, back on track. I've got a Jon Snow. I don't actually have a pop figure of him yet. I have Daenerys, but I don't have a Jon Snow, so I'm happy I got him. And he's even got his sword and everything. I really like that. That is so cute. Ah, I love that. So next up is a notebook, I think. And it says Treasure Island by R.L. Stevenson. Yeah, it's a notebook. Let me just open that up. That is so cool. It's like the cover of the book and everything. But it's a notebook. Oh, they have a map in it. Look at that. That's a Treasure Island map. That is so cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at the picture in the back of it. This is so cute and it's great quality. This is fantastic quality for a notebook. It's even got a bookmark in it. It's got a built-in bookmark. 
one of those ribbon ones. That's pretty cool. That's fantastic. Oh, I like that. I reckon I know somebody who's going to want this and... Mom, you're not having it. It's mine. <laughs> but I do like that. That is cute. So what I know about this July box is that it was special for a reason because it actually comes with two books this month. One of them is an arc of a book that's coming out in 2017 and also the book that was going to come with the box under the theme. So I'm really excited to see what those books are. So let me show you the first one that I see right here. I'll take out the wrapped one. I don't want to show that yet. So I'll show you the one that's already here revealed. And that is Frostblood by Ellie Black. This is the arc. Yeah, this is the arc. That is so cool. I've actually seen the other cover version for this. I think it's the US. I think this one, this one might be the UK cover. I've seen the US cover. So this is very different. And it also comes with a bookmark. Affairs between fire and ice rarely end well. That is pretty cool. Oh, I'm excited for that. And from the look of it here, I think you can get two different types of art. So I think you can get a one that has you are a fire blood on it, and I've got the one that says you are a frost blood on it. So that's really cool. Like the world of the Frostblood saga. Our proofs are divided between fire and frost. That is so cool. Published by Hodder and Stoughton, I think that's how you say it. That is fantastic quality. That is Wow, they've put a lot of effort into these arcs. That is brilliant. Ooh, I am so excited to read this. So obviously my book is the Frostblood, so I am a Frostblood apparently. It says, you have the power to freeze your enemies with a single touch. Decades ago, your people conquered these lands, killing and enslaving the Firebloods. But some fires can never be extinguished. Hashtag Frostblood. Oh, I want to know more about this book now. Can't wait to read that. I'm not going to read it anytime soon though, because it does come out in 2017, I think. So it's quite a while away. Um, yes, the 12th of January 2017. So I'm not going to read it anytime soon, or else I'm going to be hanging out for the next one, and that's going to be a bother. But that is a quality cover. I mean, I'm excited for this one. It sounds pretty good. All right, so the next book that I have here is the one that comes with the box that was already planned for the theme. Ooh, <gasps> ooh. The book is Inherited by Freedom Matthews. Ooh, ooh, I've been seeing this on Of Tomes, Instagram and everything. Of Tomes is by Benjamin Of Tomes. He started his own little publishing house. I think this one hasn't even come out yet, or it's being released in the next week. Probably by the time this video goes up, it will probably have already come out. This sounds awesome. I actually wanted to buy the ebook of this. I'm just gonna read the back of it for you. It says, if saying I love you meant death, would you still say it? The Wilted Rose of Fairy Tale and Folklore is a pirate ship filled with unfortunate souls, each forbidden to love. One such soul is Valencia Lenny Rocks. I think that's how you say the name. Raised in a brothel and an heir to a curse, Lenny never expected to pique the interests of any man. Yet, with the arrival of vivid-eyed Nathaniel, she is torn between wanting to know him better and fearing what that knowledge would mean. When Nathaniel bring in the crew's total to six, the Wilted Rose sets off in search of the remaining two heirs. They hope that in reuniting, they will convince the fairy sorceress responsible for the curse to end it. However, lurking beneath the water is a long-standing enemy of the Wilted Rose. He was determined to thwart their quest and bring down its leaders. Together, the eight heirs fight for survival, friendship, and love. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. And the cover is stunning. I mean, look at that. Ooh, I'm, oh, I'm just, I just love really good covers. It's a really big book. This is probably, wow, both these books are actually really big. I mean, no wonder why this box is really heavy. Oh, and I also forgot, these books were signed. Yeah, it's personalized. It's personalized to me by Freedom. So that's awesome. I can't believe I forgot about that. And there was also something else that came with the book. Oh, we have a little note from Benjamin of Tomes himself, and he's actually signed it at the bottom too. That's cute. It says, Congratulations, Pirates. The book you hold in your hands is a special early edition of Inherited, not printed for anyone else but the amazing Fairy Loot supporters. When I read this book last year, I fell in love with its charm, adventure, and characters. The story is filled with magic, mystery, and more. I really hope you enjoy this book as much as I did all those months ago. It will forever sit in a special place in my heart, just like the classic fairy tales I read as a child. 
Enjoy your journey aboard the Wilted Rose. Oh, but watch out for the sea. Benjamin of Tones. That is cute. I like that. And it's also got a picture of another one of Freedom Matthews' novels, which is Into the Forest, which is another one that actually caught my eye when I saw it on his Instagram. So I'm interested in that. Very interested. And I see I also have a little What's This? And I don't quite know what this is. Uh, what's this? Very blue. With your unique hashtag okay um if anybody knows what this is i mean please let me know i don't know what this is but i will use that hashtag i guess i don't know what it is <laughs> okay another thing that came with it is a little picture card of the book inherited that's cute you could use it for bookmark too and the last thing is this oh it's a letter from the author and I think it's just explaining a bit about the book and hoping that you like the box. That's cute. Oh, that was sweet. I like that. Little personal thing. That's quite nice. So, that was the fairy loot box. That was the July fairy loot box. I really like that. That is fantastic. That is quite a lot of stuff you get. I mean, I, I don't even know if I can actually hold all this. Okay, I'm going to attempt it. So, there you go. That's all the stuff that came in the box. It's quite a lot of items that you get. I mean, I got like two bookmarks or three bookmarks if you include a little picture. I got a little note. Oops, I just dropped a lip balm. Got a little pot figure, a little tote bag, and a signed book and an arc. I'm so excited for these books. I am not kidding. I, I want to read it. I don't know which one I want to read. More. I'm just going to quickly read out the little info card so if you would like to get any of the items in this box you know where to get them from. So this I Ship It tote bag is by Alice in Wonderbook Land. I'll see if I can find her store and I'll link it down below if you're interested in her other designs. Oh! The lip balm is by Geeky Clean as well. So it's the same people that made the bath balm. So that's cool. It's all wrapped in everything. That's fantastic. So for the Treasure Island book, there is actually two different editions that you can get. I don't know what the other edition is. I don't think it says. No, it doesn't say. But there was two different editions you can get and they're from museums gallery. Or museums and galleries, sorry. I'll see if I can find a link to that and I'll leave it down below. But if you're interested, that's a fantastic quality notebook. I mean, I know someone who's going to love it, but they're not having it. It's mine. Oh cool, so the colouring in bookmark is actually brand new, it's something that she hasn't released yet on her store, it's launching with this box that it's, that's come with, and that's fantastic, it's actually a colouring in bookmark, so it's a new line of bookmarks that she's coming out with I guess, so look out for colouring in bookmarks on her Behind the Pages store, that's great. She actually has an Etsy store, so I'll leave a link down below to Behind the Pages if you want to go check that out, but I do recommend her bookmarks, they're fantastic quality. And she's got a whole new range of colouring in ones, that's so cool. I'm gonna look out for that. And the bath bomb, like I said, is made by Geeky Clean, and it's actually related to the arc apparently. It's, oh it was too, it's called Frost Blood and Fire Blood. It's exclusive to the box. The blue represents the blue and red represents the two colours of the two classes that are in the book. So that's pretty cool, like a fire blood and a frost blood. But the arc in this box is all about power and ice and fire. So we also sent out Daenerys Hygarian Fire. Oh, I get it now. Ah, oh, that makes sense. So because the arc is about fire and ice, they sent out a Daenerys Targaryen little pot figure key ring. That represents fire and Jon Snow to represent ice. That is so cool. I, sorry, it didn't click at first, but now it does. So obviously I got Jon Snow because I'm a Frostblood. That is so cool. I love it. I love it. And then it just mentions the two books that were in the box. So that's fantastic. Thank you so much. I love that fairy loot. I'm... Oh. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get more of their boxes now. That, I really enjoyed that. This box is fantastic. It's fantastic quality. It's so much stuff in it. The box is big, so they can fit a lot of stuff in it. Uh, Fairy loot. You, that was great. I mean, I I'm so happy I got that box. That's all I can say. I'm so excited. 
I got two books, I got a lot of cool items, that was great. So if you want to get your own fairy loot box, I'll leave links down below like I said before and you can go check them out. I'm certainly going to keep a look out for the themes in the next coming months, who knows I might get another one. So that's all for this video, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more future videos and comment down below about subscription boxes, I want to have a little conversation down there. What do you guys think of subscription boxes? Are you a yay or a you nay for them? I mean, I love them. You can get all different types of them. I know you can get like a, a jewelry subscription box, you can get fandom related subscription boxes out there. There are so many, so let's have a bit of a conversation down below. Let me know what subscription boxes you like. And if you have any recommendations for me, let me know as well down there. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this unboxing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.